Good morning, guys. Oh my goodness, it has been such a wild ride around here recently. We've been so busy, so full of just extra things going on, birthday parties and extra appointments, extra activities, dance competitions, like you've seen it. We've been busy. So in all the chaos though, our normal life is still happening. So today I thought I would just bring you guys along for a regular old day in the life. Right now we are currently waiting for Estelle. She is at OT. So she's gonna be out any second and then we're gonna be heading home for some schoolwork. We are so excited you guys. So come along, come along today for a little day in our life. See what we're up to behind the scenes of all the fun and all the festivities. Let's get real before we get into it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit those post notifications so that you can catch all of our content and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up you guys and let's get our day started. No, play but this. What do you want love? I want milk. Milk? Soda. Cereal and milk? Yep. Okay. Do it. Let's do it. Booyah. Okay guys, we are home now. As you can see, things are just crazy. Cohen's over it, he needs a nap, but he will not go to sleep. And um, Estelle is tired from OT. I don't know why her energy has been really low lately. So she does have an appointment coming up and we are gonna check on that because we feel like she has like good energy when she's doing something, but then she's like really tired afterwards. She just like, goes through these like periods of like lethargicness that we're like, just wanna get it checked out because people with Down syndrome can have you know, a higher risk for many things, including like thyroid disorders or something like that. So we're just hoping that it's not anything medical and that it's just a behavioral thing. But Cohen's losing his mind. So let me go check on that real quick. Okay guys, we're caving. We're gonna let him watch a movie. Usually I have this rule in my house where we don't watch movies or shows or TV before like at least noon, like preferably like later, like three, maybe like between like schoolwork and dinner. That's usually like TV time, but I would prefer. What are you seeing? The illumination. <laughs> oh, it's the minions. Illumination. <laughs> it's earlier than that. It's not even noon yet. It is. What time is it? My watch isn't working. Come on, watch. I need a new Apple Watch, you guys. It is 11:32, so we need to claim our day. We're not. Our day is getting away from us, and we have. Mom, mom, but. That's okay. I'll clean it up. Okay. And we have a million and one things to do, so we're gonna let them watch. Sing 2. Sing is like one of her favorite movies, so Sing 2 is becoming a new favorite. You guys good now? Yes. Good? good. Thumbs up? Yes. Coney? Uh -huh. Thumbs up? Okay, we're good. Let's go. Yeah. If the bread's like that, yeah. you do both of them at one time? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Are you not supposed to do that? I've never done it that way. I usually do one side and then flip it. You're always good. So my house, you guys, my house, it needs help. It needs help. If anyone wants to come and clean a house, if you love cleaning houses, come over. Let's have a house cleaning party because I need your help because it has been nonstop. Our weekends have been nonstop. We have not had a free weekend in, I couldn't even tell you the last time. It's been months. It's been months and the whole month of May is blocked too. So it's just like, I don't know when we're going to get out of this cycle of constantly being gone but my house is feeling it. So this past weekend, I was at a conference. Devin was home, but he was working on his car. Then we had a fundraiser yesterday for Ella's dance studio. So we were gone doing that. And the house is just looking like it needs help. It, it's been neglected. So I'm gonna try to like tackle the kitchen at least because the dishes are piled up. Dishes need to be put away. So the counter's full of like clean dishes that need to be put away and the sink is full of dirty dishes. So let's try to tackle that because that'll just bring some a little bit of peace to this chaos. Did you do it? You do it. Let's see. <gasps> you traced all the dots. <laughs> Good work. You guys. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, don't kick mom. How's math? So the kids did take testing last week. Um, we were totally thrown off of our regular schedule because of that. Not a fan of state testing. They're not a fan of state testing. Who is a fan of state testing? I don't get it. I don't know why. But it's done. We did it. We homeschool, but we do a charter, so we still have to adhere to things like state testing. So we had to do that on, um, there was like a Zoom, and then they were like, 
you know, monitored over the internet or whatever while they tested. Um, back to regular schedule though, but they have some catching up to do because they didn't do some of the things they were supposed to do last week. So that's where we're at. Oh, doing math right now. Working hard? Yes. How's it going? Very, very, very bad. Are you done crying? No. Baby crying time. Ready, set, go. No. Yay. No. You have clingy cry babies. Oh, you want to shut the vlogger? He's going to close it? Uh-oh. What are you guys doing? Just hanging. Hanging in the tree fort? Yeah. yeah. I'm a day so uh, a tree, but tree. Let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do it. Do it. Um, and so the kids are out here playing in Clifford's tree fort that he built all by himself. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boy. Yes, boy. So, a cone yeah. Yeah, Coney is a booyah. This booyah. is really strong because today, me, um, Estelle, Cohen, and Ella were all up here at the same time. You can hold you all three? Yeah. All four of you? Yeah. Yeah. You can? You yeah. can. A fuzzy girl. Peace out to me? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Be safe with that hammer. Hey, that's the shelf, Estelle. Be safe, Clifford. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay guys, I'm home now and it's time to do a couple things. Get some laundry out of the dryer and feed the pigs. Oh, hey guys. How we doing? You guys okay? We got food? Oh, you got stuff in your water again. I gotta clean that out. It's getting really close to being time to take these chicks out of here and get them outside, but I've got to make some renovations on the coop before that happens. And I think I'm going to move those stinking ducks way back on the property. I've got a nice big, uh, nice big pond for them that uh, Jill's dad's given us. So, Oh, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Hey, John. Hey, John. You hungry? You want some food? What are you doing? What? What? Okay, get down though. Get down. No, I'm not gonna feed naughty pigs. There you go, get down. Hi, Junie. Hi, Junie. Oh, you're gonna be naughty too? What? Okay, here we go. Okay, pigs are eaten. There they are right there. I got the ducks going too. Their, their little pool's getting filled up right now. And they already have food left over from the other day. So yeah, that's it. Chores, check. Okay guys, so Devin took Ella to dance and he took Clifford to the gym. Cohen is being out of control. So I already am getting him to bed and it is only, it's only like seven. So that's why it's really dark in here because I'm trying to like Let's calm down. Let's go to bed. I tried to get him in the bath, but Estelle wasn't having it. So I just was like, pick your battles. You know, I'm realizing that I have all these pictures on my computer that Devin took of my family at our Christmas cabin this year. And I've never gone through them and uploaded them. So it's May. I know, right? Five months. Come on, Jill. So I'm trying to do that now. Look at my cute family, guys. So it's been kind of weird to go through these pictures because at the same time we're dealing with like a text message, group text message about my grandma and like plans moving forward with her. So I don't even think that I ever shared on Christmas day, hmm, this is going to take me right back. So on Christmas day my grandma for the first time forgot who we were. She forgot who, sh who she was even, it was that bad. And it was really sad and really scary for all of us. And just since then, it's been a really heavy thing on my heart. And I know everyone's heart too. We've been in the process of trying to figure out like what the best situation is for, not only for my grandma, but for my grandpa too. Um, they're old, they live by themselves um, through COVID and stuff. They really were just on their own. And so it became apparent that we needed to do something for them. And then fast forward to Christmas, 
Uh, my grandma had broken her hip about a month before Christmas and then being in this, you know, going from the hospital, hip replacement surgery, to the rehab facility and then to this cabin with all her family, we think it was just like a combination of all of that, which led to the episode on Christmas Day that really just, it was, it was hard. It was really hard. Um, she hasn't had another episode like that since then, but she has been officially diagnosed with Alzheimer's. So going through all these pictures, it's it's just difficult. It's difficult because not only does it take me back to that that day and, and that moment, um, but it's just like with everything moving forward, I feel it's heavy. It's heavy. So um, I think it's important to stop and recognize that there's been some heavy emotional things that we've been dealing with underlying the busyness of life and I think that's why the busyness is so overwhelming to me because it's like it's like I'm emotionally dealing with so much and then physically dealing with so much like in the realm of schedules and just things and deadlines and just all of that appointments you know life school everything so it's been a lot it's been a lot and we're dealing with that so we're still here though guys I'm trying to bring you into the realness of it and share a little piece of my heart while there's really good stuff going on there's really exciting things going on there's also a lot of real life going on and I and I always tread the line because I don't want to share too much of a story that's not mine to tell but this is my side of the story so I don't want to like betray any confidences of my family members um, but at the same time, like, this is part of our journey as well. So, unfortunately, we have to navigate through this now and just do what's best for my grandma and just try to cherish as much time with them as we can because, you know, the reality is they're just getting older and I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that, accepting that truth, so... We're going to try to get out and see them, spend more time with them. If you live near your grandparents, go to their house right now. Just go sit on their couch and listen to their stories and tell them you love them. <sighs> okay, I got to get these finished and I got to get Cohen to bed. Hi, hey, Good night. Mommy, bye. Bye, good night. Bye. 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 Bye.